Hello, everybody. So I wanted to do a quick update for a few things going on here. Number one, you all know I'm in LA. And so, you know, that the hurricane was downsized to tropical storm, which means the wind could be like from 39 to 73 uh, miles per hour. Um, And just so you know that we kind of live on a slanted hill that goes up to the mountain so thank god we're blessed to be in a place where you're not gonna get a flood too easily um so also um a sister wrote in and said she has like she's going through a desperate situation and said i'm sorry i have nowhere else to write because I don't have a church, sister, please, I want people to feel like this is their church if they need whatever they need. You know, don't ever apologize. You all are always welcome to write. You, you all, many of you write each other anyway on here, and and I thank you for all the times that I see people praying for people. And, uh, you know, Giuseppe just got someone saved. Praise the Lord. So always feel welcome to write whatever you need to here and we're always praying for all of you i just want you to know that okay so and the lord is here too when two or three are gathered in his name he is in the midst okay so you will find uh prayers and comfort here in jesus name now the other thing i was looking at background things i could use in the video and I came, I came upon this because, uh, you know, I'm still watching for the, the blue moon situation at the end of this month. Like I said, you know, the Lord had spoken about coming on or around a blue blood moon. And so really that's, that's a, a generous vague time frame. You could say, we don't know exactly what, what it means, but it's a comfort, especially at a time like this. And, um, you know, as we're watching for a 2023 rapture, and then I heard rumors, I'm going to call it a rumor until proven true, but, um, I heard Alex Jones talking about how they have a new, their plan is to go back into lockdown and masks starting with, uh, I think the airports in the mid September, and then it will just get worse from there. Well, what's interesting is that mid September is the feast of trumpets on the 15th of September at night fall. And, you know, okay. We've been talking about that with Patrick and the revelation 12 and my dream. And, And again, he's the one who had all these confirmations with me years ago with the blue moon stuff. So anyway, I was looking at this picture and I I remembered a dream I had had. Watch this because this, this is exactly what my dream looked like. But the moon was, it was huge. It was a super moon. Okay. It was going across the sky from left to right just like that. Okay. And it went all the way across like this. It was a super moon. It took up half the sky. And that was the only thing I had. That was the, that was the whole dream. And, and, and while I'm talking to you, I'm realizing, okay, so the, the blue moon coming up is a super blue moon. And I had that dream about seven years ago, this huge white super moon going from left to right down the screen, just like, just like this. So, um, so anyway, so I wanted to give you this quick update here because, um, I saw this and it reminded me of the dream and I wanted to let you know how things were going here in LA with the the tropical storm watch. Now, like I said, it's, you know, there could be some major flooding for sure in like LA city, um, definitely in the flat areas, but we're not in the flat areas. 
So, so, um, so, but what I was saying earlier, it is interesting if they were to try to start doing this in the mid September, because that's literally when we're believing the tribulation, this Jacob's trouble for seven years will start taking you to 2030, the return of Christ with the saints, landing his feet on the foot of olives, beginning a new millennium. He died in, in uh, 30 AD. Uh, I believe there's so much proof of that. If you watch that video, Messiah 2030, you'll see it. I, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, you got to watch it. Messiah 2030. So what, that's exactly what the tribulation would have. It would have, it would have like a million times worse lockdown and every, all that agenda they were doing. Uh, I will watch what I'm saying here though. So I've had a lot of videos taken down <laughs> on that subject. Anyway, so, um, thank God, thank God he's coming back and we can look forward to getting out of here when we know what's coming and warn as many people as we can until that day that Jesus is the only way, the only way to get saved. So I wanted to give you this quick update. Um, hang in there. Always feel free to write what you need to. Um, and if I don't get back to everyone, I, I, I read all of them. I just can't, I can't respond to all of them, but I always read them. But if they are two, three pages long, I literally sometimes can't. So, uh, admittedly, uh, you need to know that too. Okay. So, um, with that, God bless each and every one of you with Tons of joy, faith, strength, healing, glory, provision, answered prayer. And uh, remember, he's our rock. He's our rock. And if you built your house on the sand, <clears throat> the waves and wind will come and blow it to pieces. But if you build your house on the rock, it will stand. And that's the word he gave me uh, a couple days ago about that hurricane. And then I prayed against the hurricane because the Bible says in Luke 10, 19, he's given us authority over all the works of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us. So I, you know, and you know, we know that Elijah talked to the weather. We, we are actually able to pray against the weather. God has given us a lot of authority. If we believe his word, you don't have to believe it. You don't have to use the authority. It's kind of like a cop. You know, he can use his authority or not. And you get different results. So I would, uh, you know, I recommend using it as much as you can. Take authority over the enemy while we're here because he does have a lot of tricks and plots and schemes against us. <clears throat> and, um, but the battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. And the, and the word of God is your, it, faith is the victory that overcomes the world. So I pray for that to strengthen you until we leave. And remember, we're leaving any minute now. The, the tribulation is set up. I mean, not only <clears throat> what I mentioned, but we also have the mark of the beast on the way. We've got World War III on the way. All of it is going to happen. And it's late in the year therefore i would expect it to be happening literally any minute now so we're leaving so um praise the lord get on the rapture train i will see you guys soon god bless you all until then